Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute half moon pouch. If you're interested, the pattern will be located over at charmbyashley.com. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is cut out your fabric. I'm using cotton and I'm going to be backing my cotton with fusible fleece. You can also use medium weight interfacing. It will just help create stability for your bag. So just make sure that you have a zipper that will go around the whole entire curve. And now I'm just going to take my zipper, fold it in half and mark the center point. And we will find the center point of our pattern pieces by folding them in half as well. And I will just snip a little triangle into it and we will line up the marking on the zipper and that little snip so that the zipper is perfectly centered in your bag. So this can be a little bit tricky and for the first time you might want to do one half of the bag at a time and to do that you're just going to put your zipper on the first side of the bag and then we'll place our lining on second. But if you're a seasoned pro then you could technically put the lining on top of this sandwiching the zipper in between and then just doing it all at one time. Make sure that when you do put your zipper onto your main body of your bag fabric that it is zipper side down. So I already did the sewing of that and now I'm going to do the lining. Like I said, you could do that all at once, but I just chose to do it separately for the first side. Just to show you what I mean. So now I'm going to be doing the other side and for the other side I'm going to be doing it all at the same time. Sandwiching the zipper in between the outer fabric and then the lining. So I'm just, it's a little bit tricky to be able to bring it over there and because the zipper is attached on the one side, it doesn't want to, you know, go over there. So the bag will sort of fold up on the one side. Um, it's best to unzip the zipper to do this side. It just makes it a little bit more easier for you. And make sure you use a lot of clips or a lot of pins. It will just help you get the best rounded curve with your zipper just because the zipper doesn't want to go around that curve it's gonna fight you during the whole entire process so you just basically need to tell it who's boss and just get it to do what you want it to do so that's why I've used like 30 clips so now I'm just gonna take it over the sewing machine I did all of that and now I'm going to flip it right side out from those little notches And from here, we're just going to be doing a top stitch around the zipper just to make it a little bit more nicer and it'll make the fabric lay flatter. And then we will open up the bag and we will pinch the little openings there and we are going to be using bias tape. If you don't have bias tape, you can just take some of your lining fabric and then just make your own. So I'm just pinching that opening. I will do a straight stitch along that edge and then I will apply the bias tape afterwards. It's just a little bit easier to do it that way just because you wanna make sure you get all the um, fabrics catching. Otherwise you'll have a hole in your bag. And now we're going to do the other side and this is where the zipper is open. And this part is a little bit tricky just because you need to make sure that your zipper comes together and we'll just clip it in two places to make sure that that won't move. And then we just sew a straight stitch and apply the bias tape to this edge as well and then you're finished. I think it turned out totally cute, a perfect little toiletry bag or makeup bag or essential oil bag. I So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you can be alerted for new and upcoming videos. And also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I would love to see if you make this project. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!